Greetings and salutations. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. My name is Eric Moss. I'm a personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a modern day performing strongman. If you're unfamiliar with what a modern day performing strongman is, picture the old time strongmen. Legends of the past like the mighty Adam and Alexander Zass. They would perform real life feats of strength as part of a live show. I do a similar thing, but with a modern day twist. Some of the feats of strength I've performed in front of a live audience include things like bending steel bars, breaking chains, twisting horseshoes, rolling up frying pans, driving nails or wooden boards by hand, and even holding back a high performance motorcycle while taking off at full throttle. Now, being a modern day performing strongman and the fact that there's not a whole lot of us around these days to answer people's questions, in an effort to grow my YouTube channel by giving you guys what you want, I started a YouTube series called Ask Eric Moss, where I'd invite you to ask me a question by dropping it in the comments below. And when you do that, I try to get back to you with your very own custom video, just for you and whoever else happens to have the same question. So, this question comes from... Edward Mark Garus, 5472. And they said, how do you train your tendons for strength? Thank you for asking that. To answer your question, I do and I don't. So one of the things is like a lot of the old timers would talk about the strength of their tendons. So people think that you're looking for specific protocols or whatever to target the tendons specifically. But with my approach, I try to train everything. I train to get stronger. And whatever mechanisms happen to go in place, happen to go in place. So the way <clears throat> movement occurs is your brain sends a command signal through your central nervous system to tell your motor units to contract muscle fibers. The muscle fibers contract, which pulls on tendon, which pulls on bone, and that is how all movement occurs. So every one of the things that I tell my personal training clients is every repetition that you do sends a signal to your central nervous system that this is something that needs to get stronger. And every link in that particular chain also has to adapt. So one of the things also with tendons is that they get very poor blood flow. It's one of the reasons tendon injuries take so long to heal. <clears throat> And tendons, as well as muscles and bones and all that stuff, um, will adapt to the, the stresses that are imposed on it. I know um, with a lot of my dynamic training and, and what I put my clients through is we start off with getting the, a significant amount of volume in and then adding load over time. And as you do that, the muscle fibers adapt, the bones adapt. The, the myelin sheath that encases the nerve flow adapts <clears throat> and your tendons adapt as well. And it comes up at the same time as everything else. So um, I hope that answers your question because I know like you're looking for a specific thing for the tendons or maybe you're just generally curious. But if you just train to get strong, you'll get or I should say, if you train to get strong, you'll get strong. Your muscle fibers will get stronger. Your bones will get stronger. Your tendons will get stronger. Everything gets stronger by default. So I, anyways, I hope that answers your question. Um, if you like this video, let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, subscribe to the channel. You can also see uh, the other questions that I answer, as well as the chronicles from my various performances across the country. If you think anybody should see this, please share it with them. This isn't rocket science. And if you want to support the channel, try buying a copy of my book on Amazon. <clears throat> Just type in the, performance, the Performing Strongman's Experience by Eric Moss, and it'll come up. I know it's gotten all five-star reviews thus far, and everybody who's gotten back to me told me how much they loved the book. And if you are... Reading the book, you might want to sit down with a nice cup of coffee, in which case you can also further support the channel as well as my cousin by ordering from Good For You Coffee Club using the promo code before, um, 
it's in the description, my power 10. I oftentimes joke that coffee is the source of my power, hence the where the promo code came from. And with the 10, you get 10% off of your order, as well as any order that you use that promo code for. And the, co the name of the, the club is Good For You Coffee Club. And it also happens to be good for you, hence like no mold or pesticides or anything like that in the coffee. And it's a really good tasting cup of coffee. So don't forget to, if you end up ordering from them, don't forget to put that promo code in the link below. But anyways, that is it for today. Please stay happy, healthy, and strong. Eric Moss, over and out.